This video is sponsored by the headache every writer gets when they have to write a synopsis of their book. Hello my lovely friends, it's Margaret and I'm here with a writing video with iced tea because Florida decided that it didn't want to participate in winter again after participating for like the first half of the week. Yeah, Florida's like that. Hot and Cold by Katy Perry. Uh, that's basically Florida winter. But what can you do? Oh, it was too hot for hot tea, so I iced it because I am legally obligated to have tea in my writing videos. Also, it tastes good. So this is gonna be a really short, sweet writing update but I wanna do at least one of these a month. I have some other videos planned, which I'm really excited about, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But my two goals for January were to draft a, well, actually three goals, I guess. But those were draft a query letter, make a list of agents, and submit to agents. I have done two of the three. I have a query letter and my synopsis that I've been going over as well, because I already had the synopsis, thank goodness. I did that painful work the last time I had to submit this thing. Um, but I have submitted both of these to my writers group for review and they gave me some great feedback on them. And so I am going to go and correct typos because there were typos in my query letter. Mm -hmm. Who is surprised? Not me. Don't send query letters with typos. I have a list right now, I think of like 10 or 12 agents. And so I'm going to go and I'm going to try and narrow that down to even, even more. I want to query maybe seven. I actually am planning on doing a video that's going to be going through some of the information that I found. Basically going to summarize what I found and then give you guys links to that if you are a writer and you're trying to figure out how do you research agents, how do you figure out which agent is right. So I'm going to go through what I found and how I worked with it at some point. I'm also thinking about doing a video on query letters, like maybe just taking a famous book and walking you through the query process using that famous book, mostly using that famous book because A, it's not my work, so I'm not spoiling anything, and B, like choose something that, like maybe choose like Pride and Prejudice to, to write a query about, and because everyone knows what Pride and Prejudice is about. If you're an adult and you have avoided spoilers and you've gotten through the American high school system, or maybe the British high school system as well, uh, and not had been spoiled for Pride and Prejudice, like how? How, like, teach me your skills. So, query letter, synopsis, all that, list of agents. I have not sent out queries, but that was because January 31st was a Thursday, and I was like, hmm, is it really why? I feel like a Monday would be a better. I might be wrong on this, but I felt like, like the beginning of the week would be better than the end of the week to send queries. So, I'm going to put all the notes in, um, and I'm going to narrow those agents down a little bit more and we will see what happens from there. The way I'm working this is my goal is to either A, get an agent, or B, amass 20 rejection slips. If I get an agent, obviously, on to the next step. The thing we're doing once we get to like 20 rejections is we are going to go through the draft again, see what we need to change, put in any feedback that we, if there's feedback that I've gotten from the different agents, I will probably put, like, see if I can work that in. But the thing about like, Getting feedback from agents is like one agent saying something about your book does not necessarily mean that it doesn't work as a book. It just means it didn't work for that particular agent. But if you have like three or four or a whole bunch of them saying this didn't work for me, then you maybe like if they're saying this, the pacing is slow, then you need to go look at your pacing. If you're they're saying their characterization is off, you need to look at your characterization. So if I'm getting feedback like that, then obviously it will be time to go back and rework. So that's for TQG. So the goal for February is to not freak out about the queries that we have sent out at the beginning of February, uh, number one, <laughs> and number two to start working on Ash's story. Uh, and that's gonna be me rereading what I've already written. That's gonna be me going over the world building, going over the outline, um, and just getting all of that stuff set for when I wanna start drafting again in March. Because I have yet to complete a draft of this book, but also I've really changed the plot of it since the original, like when I first conceived of it. A lot of things have changed. A lot of things have changed. Um, so we're gonna, that is going to be the goal for February. And over March and April, I get myself at least 70,000 words written in this draft. That is your January writing update. Let me know down in the comments. Are you a writer? Are you just interested in the writing process? What made you stay to watch this video? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. I make videos two to three times a week about books and writing, and I would love to have your lovely face here on a regular basis. If you want more of me, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter. Those are both at the word nerd with a three in nerd instead of the E. That's it for now, my friends. Happy writing, and I will see you later when we will talk about more wordy, nerdy things. Bye!